What is going on everyone? Tim from Tierfon Orbital. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward demo video for an install I recently completed on the Heart of Siberia from Denis Lukianov. I, I hope I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. I always am <laughs> afraid I'm doing him an injustice uh, by mis butchering his name. So yes, this is by Denis Lukinov. Uh, I have been really looking forward to getting this hilt in hands because in my experience, previous experience, anytime I get a hilt that's from Dennis, uh, it's always the same, right? Wonderfully designed hilts, wonderfully machined hilts. Uh, they're for the most part uh, easy to install on, especially if there's a good chassis available. Uh, so I've, I've always been a fan of Dennis's hilts, uh, so I've been looking forward to getting this one in hand. He started the interest for this run late last year, I believe, uh, and they uh, started to go out a couple of weeks ago, so a probably a couple of months ago now, actually. It's loosely based on the concept art from For Kylo's Hilt. Uh, I've seen versions of this before. I actually, I think uh, Phoenix Props is going to be doing one. Uh, Phoenix Props with Shadow Foil, I believe. Uh, so that's coming soon. That one looks really, really phenomenal as well. Uh, so I've never really been a fan of Kylo's cinematic hilt with the Quillians and, and all that. I was never really a fan of that hilt, but this... The concept hilt is, is a hilt that's very unique and I've always really liked. So I do want to talk about the chassis that I designed for this. There was a little bit of change that went uh, I went through during this install. I had to switch things up a little bit. Um, and I also want to talk about you know how to use it and we'll do a demo and all that good stuff, right? So let's come into Fusion and take a look at the chassis. So here's the chassis that I designed for this hilt. Uh, I've got Grablies along one side. Here is our battery tray. I couldn't get too heavy with Grablies on this side because I did utilize that side of the chassis for my wire management uh, to bring my leads all of the way up the side of the chassis. So I had a few down here. I had two for power because there, there's a kill switch in this chamber. So I had two for power, one for negative, two, four speaker. So I wanted plenty of room, uh, you know, plenty of room for wire management uh, on coming up that side of the chassis. This is a Profi install. So we've got a, our Profi tray is here. It slides up underneath this lip and that's it, right? Pretty straightforward, 28 millimeter speaker down here. Uh, you will probably notice that the nipple for this chassis is really long. So so initially with this install, my intention was to utilize this top part of the chassis as a secondary crystal. So I was going to put make a crystal mount uh, and put it up here, have my wires passed behind it because of the way the hilt looks. And I'll talk about that uh, when we do an up close. But my, my intention was to have a secondary crystal. Unfortunately, uh, I could not go that route. I had to make room for the switches. Now, I also had to make a custom switch mount for the steel ball uh, tactile switches. And I'll talk about that right now, actually. So let's come up top and take a look at the hilt. So this is the Heart of Siberia from Dennis Lukanov. Really, really well-made hilt. I love the look of this hilt. So initially, right, so the chassis stops right around here. That long nipple went past this waist section, and I wanted to have a crystal down in here. So before I, <laughs> before I put the switches in, I saw these holes here and there's like a cavity underneath the crystal chamber here. And I was like, you know, it might be cool to get a secondary crystal in there. You, you can kind of see it. It's kind of hidden. If I got some NeoPixels in there, it would, it would create a cool effect, right? So, <laughs> you know, par for the course for me, I designed the chassis before I, you know, mocked up the hilt and come to find out, there are steel ball tactiles that need to go into these, these holes. I don't know why I didn't think ahead, didn't think of that. Um, I guess I assumed there'd be a control box somewhere. I, I don't know. I did not think ahead. And of course, you know, I didn't look at any videos prior to doing that chassis. Um, so we've got steel ball tactiles. That switch holder that I showed you in Fusion holds both of these. Oops, sorry. I guess that's on already. Holds both of those steel ball steel dome tactiles. These are also included with the hilt, which I thought was pretty nice, okay? We've got an external wire here, 
Uh, this is typical of Kylo's hilts, uh, which I think is cool, right? Um, however, uh, I like to snip the wire at the threads here where you, uh, where you unscrew the grip. Same thing with the regular Kylo, like the SP Kylo. I snip here just so that it's easier if you're taking off the grip a lot to replace the battery. That way you can just kind of slide that wire in there and get at it easier, you know, rather than having to fish it out every single time you take the grip off, right? A little bit easier. I think I got that idea from uh, Jeremy over at Solo Sabers, which is a great idea. Super easy, right? So let's talk about how to use this guy. Obviously, I've already got a battery in it. So you want to unscrew your grip. Here is the chassis, okay? Profi board sits here. We've got a 28 millimeter speaker down here. That's from Smuggler's Outpost. I did do a pass of black or uh, pewter rub and buff on this guy. Um, so uh, negative orientation is towards the speaker. You put your battery in flat side down towards the speaker. Hit your kill switch if you don't hear anything. And then you're good to go. I did light that crystal uh, from down below. This is a real quartz point. It is lit from underneath. That is its own blade in the config. And then of course we've got our main blade, right? So once you get your battery in, slide that grip on and you can kind of slide that decorative wire up into that holder. Let's come down to the bottom here. Yeah, just do that so it's easier. I mean, you know, if it were my hilt, that's what I would do. You know, because I'm taking the, if I'm taking the grip off to remove the battery or replace the battery, I don't want to have to fish, fish that wire through every time. Right? So if you're looking at the hilt, the uh, switch to your left, switch to your left is your main, switch to your right is your aux. Twist to deactivate, twist to activate is on. There's that crystal chamber. Really, really phenomenal looking crystal chamber. Another thing that I really like about this hilt is this emitter cap or this uh, steel ring is removable. So you can unthread it and heat stain it and then put it back on. I did not get crazy with weathering on this, but I did want, this was actually a request from the client to heat stain this. I love anytime I can do this. Uh, I think it makes the hilt look so much better. The Phoenix Prop Star Killer had a cap like this. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. So anyhow, let's put a blade in it. So there is a large screw in the middle of the emitter here that serves as your blade retention. So you want to make sure your blade plug is out, obviously. Loosen that set screw. And then put your blade in. There we go. Tighten that set screw so it's hugging the blade. You're ready to go. Let's see what else we got on here. The NASA team is ready for launch. Really, really. Hilt sounds really good. I need to get a shorter blade for my demos. I mean, this is just absurdly, it's absurdly long for the space. I'm like, keep knocking my lamp up here. Uh, anyhow, that's it. A nice quick demo on the Heart of Siberia hilt from Dennis Lukanoff. This is an absolutely beautiful hilt. I really, really like the look of it. Anytime there's an exposed crystal chamber in a build, uh, I really, I really like that. So anyhow, to the client, thank you very much for trusting me with your install. To the viewers, if anyone has any questions about this install or this hilt or anything at all, really, please don't be a stranger. And with that being said, may the force be with you always. Thanks for watching, everybody.